face, I'm here to do a uh, get ready with me makeup of the day. And I'm um, just going to start really quick with this lotion. I'm using the Fremming Shea Nut Butter Body Body Butter. And it's in the ocean. It's the Obey Your Body. I've spoken about this before here, and it's so good. I'm just going to put a little bit on my skin. All over. Oh, this was so good. I literally just finished waxing um, my brows and my face and stuff in another video, the one before this. So, um, yeah, you guys will probably see that I'm wearing the same thing in that video, but we just I just finished waxing and I wanted to do my makeup right after because this one your face is like the smoothest. So, yeah. Right after the lotion, I'm going to go in with this. It's this tart the J the J gel hydrator. Gel hydrator. This is exactly what it looks like. It's the drink of H2O hydrating boost. So I'm just gonna get a little bit. And this does feel really good. It literally isn't like thick. The reason I did put lotion on under is because I had just finished waxing and I didn't want my skin to get all bumpy and stuff, so I am putting a lot of things on it right now. Just put that. And it's not like greasy feeling or nothing. It really is like slippery, and it does give you like a little, not like a tingling feeling, like not super tingly, but it actually feels really, really good. And then I'm just going to spray my face with the Rainforest. It says Marine Boosting Mint. Mist. I don't know what is wrong with me. Mints? Seriously? Mist. And no. I know this looks like a lot of steps to be doing, but I like to make sure my skin is really, really hydrated before I start because I do not want it to look patchy. I don't want it to be like funky looking. So make sure you exfoliate. You do all those things before. Now I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match. My makeup, I'm in. So I'm an M5.5. Yeah, N5.5. Perfect beige. Just gonna go in and start dabbing this out. If you see me looking down, it's because I have a like an angle over the camera down there. And if you see me looking over here to the side, it's because I have a mirror on that side. Make sure you get the creases of your nose because um, that's happened before where you're like skimping on makeup and you forget to get that part and you're like, what is this nonsense? Like, <sighs> you have like this area here that doesn't have makeup and you're just like, ew. So, yeah, I'm waiting for my husband to get home because he just got out of work and we're going to go eat. It's date day today, so... I think it's really important, like, even when you're married, to not stop dating. Like, I know it's going to be harder once we have kids. But I really think it's, like, important to still be dating, still be hanging out, still be able to have fun with your husband and your wife. So go on a date, hang out, go to another city. Just really just hang up. You'll see me come back later to put more makeup in this area. Just because I like to make sure it's really covered. And I like to come in here to just come and clean it up. So after that I'm going to go in with concealer. I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Light Ivory. That one. And then I have this one, the City Color. I actually wasn't going to pick this up, but it actually looks so good. So I'm like, you know what? I'm tempted. And honestly, this works so good. But just like a little bit goes like such a long way. So what I do is I just get like 
squeeze it very little and then spread that around my face. This one is super fast drying, so you do have to be careful with it. But this one makes it so much more brightening down there. You'll see right now that with this, with the extra concealer that I have, I will end up dabbing it on the bridge of my nose and under my cheeks. Bringing it into the inner corner because there's no way I'm not going to be bright down there. You have to make sure to highlight this because if you do not highlight, like, seriously, you brighten up this area, you can look like you got a black eye quick. And just dab it all up. Then with what you have left, I like to bring it down here. After that, I'm just going to grab my setting powder. I have the LA... Girl Pro Powder. I've heard a lot about this, so I had to get it to try it out. And it actually works really good. It's not so much brightening, but it does the setting job. So I just get it, put my blender in there, and bring it out. Make sure that you pick up all the creases. You ain't got nothing left. This is what it's probably going to look like. And bring it in there. all the way in there so after that I'm just gonna get my contour powder just kidding contour cream it's still the LA girl pro color I've heard like I really did hear so much about these I was like that's it I'm gonna try them I couldn't find them anywhere literally anywhere so I was like all right so it's not happening then I went downtown one day back home like where I live and I found them there and I was like why are they here I don't understand but I'm not questioning I'm just getting them and I was so excited, and they work so good. If you guys think I contour really weird, it's because I like my like cheeks to look really chiseled. And um, this is a good way that I've like figured out how to do that. This brush that I'm using is a Sonia Kashuk brush. It actually works really, really well. Every time you contour, you're supposed to bring it a little bit higher because when you contour, you do contour a little bit down and it will make your cheeks look a little bit lower. So I like to bring it a little bit higher just because when I do contour, it is going to be a little bit higher for me. And since I have really, really chubby cheeks, no, like that's not happening. Make those babies go away. With what's left over, I'm just going to bring it in here, my nose. I don't really contour my nose a lot. But I do bring it in. There you go. So after that, I'm just getting another Sonia Kashuk, Sonia Kashuk brush. And uh, I'm coming into this True Complexion. This is called Black Radiance. I actually found this at Walmart. And I was looking for a really good highlight shade. Then I opened this and I was like, oh, look at that highlight. And I was like, I'm totally getting it. Look. 
Let me see if I can show you guys. Look at this highlight. Oh, look. Mm, where am I going? Look at that. Oh, my geez. So, yeah, I'm just going to get that and dust it right here on top. On my nose, on my nose, and my cupid's bow. After that, you can just rub off the excess, pick up a little of the contour and skull powder. If you do want it to be a little more bronzy and go back in there, you can. I also have this Black Radiance bronzer. It's just this little tiny compact. It's in the color Ginger Snap. Get a little bit in there. And get in there. I really don't use blush. But you can if you want to. Then what was left over here? Come and we hide our little triple chin friend here. Because that's not happening either. And then I'm just going to get my beauty blender again. Bring it up. With a little bit of makeup. And then clean this up. Just go in there and clean it up. After that, I'm going to go into the eyes. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I love this color. Absolutely love it. I'm going to go up here in my eyes. Just kidding. In my eyelids. I'm going to go up here. Blend all of this out. Just dab it in, dab it in. I really do want to get those beauty blenders, the little tiny ones. Cause girl, these nails can be killer. A little of this goes an absolutely long way, so you need to be very careful with it. And just stab it all in. Now that you have that all blended out, I do is I'm gonna grab my Lorac Mega Pro. I wanna say that's what this is called. Let me see. Yep, Mega Two Pro. Just gonna bring this in there. I'm gonna get Goji and Cabernet. Actually, just kidding. I'm gonna get. You know what? No, I am. Just kidding. I'm gonna get Goji and Cabernet. Bring them in here. And go into my crease. And then just straight to blending them out. Just blend these puppies out. Sometimes when you start, you'll see it and you'll be like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like, should I start all over again? And you can always just work with your look. Just go blend it out, blend it out. Really try to create that, like, defined look that you really, really want. And then just bring it in.
Okay, after that, I'm gonna go in and grab this little fluffy angled brush. And I'm just gonna go in with, let me see. I think I'm gonna go in with Peony, which is this one, and Soft Plum, which is like a little hint of purple. I'm just gonna go straight in here. Just to like brighten this up a little bit. Okay, with Peony and Soft Plum. Bring this in here. Then if you wanna get a Prosecco, just get it, bring it in to the inner corner and drag it a little bit down. Just to brand that up a little bit. And bring it down. And bring it down. There you go. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this pointed brush and I'm just gonna go inside and I'm gonna get this is going to get a little funky. I'm going to go and get Cabernet in here with a little bit of the forest. Just bring it in there. Right now we're going to go in and blend that out. But for now, I'm just laying it down. I'm just laying it down. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. Okay. And after this, I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, so I can get you guys close up. I am doing a green liner. That's why I had to throw in a little bit of the forest green in there. So after that, I'm just going to go back in there and I'm going to get sorbet and seashell. Just kidding. Peony and sorbet. Just bring it in here. Just a little bit more of the pink. If you want, you can go back with the peony. Here in the middle. Then go back with Prosecco if you want, just to brighten this up again. Make sure it stays nice and bright. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight in with my pencil brush. I'm just wiping it off really quick. I'm moving my legs before they fall asleep on me. I like dirty milk. And then, whoa, it got dark. I'll turn the TV back on. Okay, after that, I'm just going to go in back with the pencil brush. And I'm going to take this porcelain color. And I'm going to go straight in here in the bottom just to make sure that my eyeliner looks super bright. There you go. Now I'm going to take this Urban Decay 24-7 Cosmic color, and it's just a white pencil. I'm bringing it in into the waterline. Again, just to make sure it's white. As you can see, it's really, really white. Just, it just makes it a lot, a lot whiter. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Sephora Waterproof. This is the color. What color is this? Oh, fairy tale. It's this little Sephora pencil. And I'm going to go straight into the waterline. Why must I have in my mouth? I have no idea. Uh -uh. 
so you can see it it's just like it's like a blue green color but it's so mermaidy it's so pretty so after that it's really up to you if you want to do a wing liner if you don't want to do a wing liner and if you do a wing liner do you want to do a black do you want to do it brown do you want to do it any other color it's up to you you can even go maroon if you wanted to it just really depends on you um as for me i think i am gonna just leave it like this i'm just gonna go and get uh this little defined pencil just to blend this out a little bit and then i'll kind of just create a little bit of wing a wing with this i like the product that's on here And then after that, you're pretty much just done. If you do want to touch it up with mascara to just really, really define your lashes, you can. But after this, you're basically just done. If you want to go back and highlight, I am going to add Prosecco, which is the Lorac Mega 2 palette. This ultra shiny that I already had pan on. I'm just picking up a little bit on the brush and going on the tip of my nose. Just to give me a little bit of a highlight. My cheekbones. And the same thing with the other one. And that's pretty much it. After this, you're free to pair any lip that you really want to with it. You can pair any lip, any mascara, any anything you want. You guys can make changes. Don't feel like just because I use the Lorac Mega 2 palette that you need to have that palette. You really, really don't. I have such amazing palettes that I have from Wet n Wild, CoverGirl, all of these brands, and they work just as amazing. Some, you may have to just spread a little bit of setting powder and it'll make the color so intense. Don't feel like you have to have these super expensive palettes to do these things. Um, but I just wanted to come on here, show you guys a super quick look, and um, I probably will be doing more drugstore looks anyway, just so I can show you guys that you can do it with expensive makeup and, well, with high-end makeup and with drugstore makeup. So, this is the color I use. This is the palette. Feast <laughs> is the palette that I use. But, um, really, guys, don't feel like you need to be going out, spending that money, getting these things for you. A lot of these things were gifts to me, or I do buy them in time. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys a super quick look. And this is what I'm doing. We are having, like, a day night, and my husband does not care that I use makeup you should be able to be yourself don't worry about it and um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed watching this is gonna be my day night makeup <clears throat> and that's pretty much it oh my brows I forgot to do my brows I'm just kidding I'll probably end up doing those anyway off camera but for my brows basically I just go in here and line it up. And that's pretty much it. I try not to go super intense on my brows because like, I don't want it to. The only reason I started filling out my eyebrows is so it wouldn't look so patchy. When I take pictures, my eyebrows, you can tell I never did my eyebrows. Because I didn't feel like I needed to. But when you take a picture and your brows are patchy, you can tell. You can definitely tell. So, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll probably be posting a lot more on this channel. So thank you guys so much. I said that like seven times. But I really do thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.